lacing up the boots. It's gonna be a cold, cold day. Oh my gosh, look at all the birds. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I don't know what's going on with all these birds, y'all. Look at them. What? What? There's been a migratory backup. You know, the birds were, whoa, we are on my lips right now. I think the birds were kinda, kinda getting excited. They were like, hey, let's maybe go back up north. And then uh, all of a sudden, monster cold front. And they're like, no, 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 no. Let's stay here, let's come back. Today's gonna be an interesting day. I decided to uh, break out the vlog camera. Uh, here's what we got going on today, folks. We are at the world famous Lake Fork. That's it, behind me. Uh, that's in my name, that's, that's part of the LF, that's Lake Fork guy. This is the beginning, this is where I fell in love with bass fishing, right back here. Uh, and I've got one of my free range buddies down here and we're shooting, we're shooting our own ads, commercials, because we don't have large budgets or teams of people that do that. A couple of good old boys just doing it ourselves out here. That's what we're doing and Lake Fork has a really good nostalgic look. You guys came along with me for uh, doing Outlaws. It's all about, you know, everything you think about when you're drinking that cup of free range coffee in the morning, what you're gonna be able to go do. Whatever it is to you, but this is, this is where I got, I fell in love with bass fishing. So I can't imagine a better place. So anyway, that's the concept around it just to give you guys some context, context of what we're doing. It's gonna be really cool. We're having fun doing it. But anyway, this is not a commercial for free range right now. I'm simply trying to give you the context of what we're doing here so you understand. And the fishing is going to absolutely suck as far as bass fishing goes. We really came out here to try to do um, white bass and crappie, like kind of a catch and cook kind of deal. It's been raining all night. <laughs> it rained all night, rained all yesterday. Luckily I had the cover on, on the old silver bullet. So she's good to go. Oh, oh. Oh, those are icicles. Who wants to go out in weather like this? But what it does is it makes a, a really cool, rustic, hardcore look to the video. Everything outdoors, right here. One little package. Come along. We had a nice, big breakfast here. It was okay. delicious. It was nice and warm in there okay. as well. Uh, let me just tell you, I have, in all of my years, being a guide out here and just coming out here as a young man, and occasionally coming back here as an adult, uh, I've never seen this boat ramp completely empty. Stare into the nothingness. Normally this place, like in March, April, you cannot even find a spot right now. It's like nine o'clock, you would not be able to find a parking spot. There'd be people parked all the way over here, boats lined up all over the place. Today, absolutely zilch. And if you look out through those trees, let's get a let's get a massive zoom on this thing. You can see the white caps. Do we just want to be the the kind of people that turn around at this point, knowing there's probably not a fish to be caught on this on this place right now? Oh, even Cletus is leaving right now. Cletus is leaving. Cletus is gone. He's like, screw he just, it. He just left his boat in the water. My cat, I'm he just left his catfish rods. Are we the kind of men that go out there and get the greatest footage ever with the water splashing, the intenseness, the epicness? <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I think we're turning around. I think we're going back. Anyway, we're going to wait till this wind calms down. It's absurd. There's nothing worse than being cold and wet. It's 31 degrees outside right now. I actually think that they might, instead of paying a launch fee, they might actually pay you to go out on the water today here just to make it look like people are fishing, get more people to come. It's like a, it's like a duck on the water, you know? It's like a decoy. It's like, oh man, somebody out there. I better go. Something's going on. Somebody's getting a bite. Here we go. Okay, now we're ready. Before we just didn't have enough layers. But uh, now that we've got all these layers on, I think we feel brave enough to go out there and, uh, and get us some of this this incredible fishing action. I, think I feel a big one coming. You feel a big one coming, like a like a movement, like a bow movement. Uh, probably that too, if we get a little coffee in this. Might be the biggest one of the day. <laughs> you guys want to see what cold really looks like out on the lake? I might just strip down my bare shirt like Putin. <laughs> just hold a bass in the winter. <laughs> Call myself the polar bear. I'm just doing this for the lens, you know. 
but I hope we can catch some white bass. We had a problem. Had a little issue. Look at old muddy prints right here. Look at the muddy prints right here in the silver bullet. Look at this. You pulled up. You, Look at this. You pulled up on a cliff. <laughs> Nothing but mud. I'm not gonna ask you to take your shoes off because that's just mean. Look at it. Look at it out there. What do you mean to do? We're gonna die. First fish has been caught. That's a yellow bass or a bar fish, as some people say. Big large mouth like to eat them, but they're super tasty. They live deep. And they're down there. So we're trying to get a little stringer of these guys put together. Look at that mondo. <laughs> it's going in the well, baby. There's no size limit on these or, uh, or uh, what do you call it? Number limit. You just keep them all day and they are, they're so tasty. Matt, what are you doing, dude? You're not, just, you're not down, I, you're not excited? Sorry, I'm, I'm dude, making Instagram posts. Oh my can... gosh. He's not, I, I pull in a fish like that and he's like, he's not excited to get his lure down there. What's wrong with this guy? I didn't even get it on, on video. <laughs> oh, they're down there. They're not moving. I'm gonna put on a smaller bait. This is what I caught the fish on, by the way. Oh yeah, there, there's more coming in. More coming in hot right there. Caught him on that. It's kind of a big slab. So I'm gonna put on a little smaller one on my little spinning rod. And get it done, get a box full of these suckers. Second one. Oh, he's so cold he can't even flop around. Look at him. I feel like I'm ice fishing again. Oh, you know what? He's spitting up a shad. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Oh, there it is. Look at that. You think that's not matching the hatch? Holy cow. Dude. You see that bait switch, first cast, boom. Oh, he did it. They come off? Oh, yeah, there's another one. Show you guys here what's going on. I want you guys to see what's going on. I'm about to get bit. See, there's the fish. My lure's close to the bottom, I'm just lightly jigging it. Boom! Fatty, getting ready to spawn. Matt, open that live well lid. We gotta get this puppy in here. They're, these things are coming coming through as well. Okay, a little basketball here. Oh, three pointer. All right, we gotta get back down there. We gotta get Matt one of these little jiggers on too. That's like eight fish. All right, guys, Matt, come up here. I'm gonna, I've caught like probably a dozen fish so far and the, there's some big whites coming. Ooh, gosh, guys, look at this. Those are whites starting to come in, white bass right there. So let it go all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna show Matt how to do this. He's never fished this way. All right, now reel up just to where it's like... Tight? Yeah, just tight. Okay. Now I just want you to light like eight inches, eight to 12 inches on the rod tip, and just a one pump, just one solid twitch up with the wrist. There you go. Just like short twitch up. All right, reel up another crank or two, just so it's just off the bottom a little bit, okay. Imagine like you just want it to stay at that same level and go okay. right back down, right back down. And you can see Matt's, Matt's jig that just came up right there and there's fish right below it, pretty glued to the bottom. Oh, do you have one thumping yeah, right there? You just hit it, but. That's okay. Going right over those fish, those are yellows in there right now, but. Time out for a lure change. We're gonna get a different lure on here. First drop with the new lure, Matt connects. It's a yellow. It's a keeper yellow. All right, dude, let's still see your basketball skills here. Let's see what you got going. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Mm. Chad just popped out of his mouth. Oh. oh yeah, oh yeah. There you go, Matt. He's down here, sorry, I'm getting your face shield off. That's right, yeah, just tear it, destroy my boat today with mud and blood, oh, blood. Oh, the, the fish is loose, so we got another Rob Turkola situation happening up here. Fish is stuck under the feeling. Ah, there we go. There you go. All right. Oh, he's in. Got him.
we went from no hope to uh, just on them. Just on them. Matt's hooked up again. Boom! Okay. I'm not so convinced we may not get a bass out of this bunch. There's a yellow. That's like the tastiest fish out here, I'm telling you. Some say it's better than crappie. It's super, super flaky white meat. As soon as Matt put on that other deal, just started crushing them. We can just throw that back. We can get picky at this point. Whoo, nanny! And you see that big old female white bass in there. Matt had one on. Oh, it, hurt, it hurt my soul. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was one of the bigger ones I've seen. It was probably pushing four pounds. I don't even know what the record is, but it was a mondo. Got it all the way up here. And it just boop, gone. It's okay. I learned how to I learned how to fish today though. You did, dude. You're, you're slaying more than me now, so. It's time. Look at them. Hungry, hungry little hippos down there. We've had a well, ah, I can't really talk when it's cold. We've caught a lot of fish. We're gonna go fillet these bad boys. I'm gonna take them home to OSG. That's what we ended up with right there. Bunch of yellows, couple of good whites. Tell you what, we're almost out of gasoline for the old silver bullet. So uh, R2 has done a great job today, keeping us on the keeping us on the fish. There's a few more there. We'll we'll let them go though. We will uh, resign off from the fishing side of things today. <laughs> Me and Matt are just out here getting it done. It seemed like a very miserable, dreary day at first, and we were very reluctant to come out. But I'm glad we did. Now the sun's out. The wind has changed out of the east, and we're going on a pig hunt. Good times. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are here. All right, let me just update you on the situation. That <laughs> just backed me down. It took us forever to find the keys. They were in my pocket the whole time. We were low on gas. I literally just, I put it on the trailer. Out of gas. Like, done. Out of gas. Like, actually, I can't even push it up all the way. Is it up there all the way? Is it close? It's very close. It's very close. Yeah. Can you uh, back us down just a little bit and I'll wrench us up the rest of the way? That was so lucky, guys. Like, by the grace of Jesus, we got in. Just need a little bit more. Yeah, take us up. We're talking about getting lucky. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're not good. Now we're not good. That's not good. Okay. Uh, back us back in. I gotta turn the camera off. I gotta really, I gotta get this done. Okay. Fish, success. It's the next day, y'all. I think we're gonna end this vlog where we started out. In the same area, same spot, same lake here, same cabin. Except now, we have a good, clear day and a sunrise upon us. Look at that. Who doesn't like to see that? We're gonna go right down to the water's edge. We actually ended up going on a hog hunt last night. Um, more details on the next video on that one because that one was kind of a shocker. Now that these fish have ferned up a little bit, I'm going to take a fillet knife to them and uh, then we're going to get going. But I just want to just want to end on this kind of... Look at this. Look at that. Frost. Up into a sunrise. I don't care who you are. You better love that. You got to love that sight. We went from dreary, we started out dreary, we powered through, got lots of great filming surrounding this thing, you guys are going to see all that. And now, the day is becoming clear. My thoughts are clear, I'm a happy man. I know a lot of you enjoyed the vlog the other day, just kind of going out and uh, doing some side scan scanning and catching the, the big fish off a of brush pile, trying to find those fish. You know, I was just searching for white bass, crappie, yellow bass on this trip, little meat haul and it made it pretty easy made it really easy actually so i can't wait to just put this bad boy to use all over the place the thing that made it so great here trees like you can see fish in the trees through the down imaging i hadn't had down imaging before really awesome but as you guys know i can sit here and talk about fishing all day don't get me started <laughs> maybe you do want to get me started i don't know but i got really two other videos that are awesome surrounding this trip uh, they were too good to throw into this vlog you guys want to stay tuned subscribe right here to the channel so you can see the next two things i love you guys i love your support i love all your gracious comments and hey i'll catch you on the next one